let's take a look around the outside of this 2019 Audi TT. Well, for starters, look how fantastic this front grille looks. If I just come down to the middle, Look at the sweeping lines on the front, the really aggressive grille. I think it looks fantastic. The lights look great. Moving down to the side. We've always had a nice sporty wheel, but this obviously looks really nice as the standard wheel. I think it's the standard wheel, might not be. Um, no, actually I don't think it is the standard wheel, but it's still a nice wheel. Uh, moving down, you've got new little side skirts. You've got these little sill things, whatever they are. You've got a new splitter at the back. One thing I've always liked about Audi TTs is the way that they've always had a really nice coupe design. And I don't think, if I get in this position, I don't think they've lost it at all. I think it looks fantastic. I think it's really got the nice sweeping line. Especially with the spoiler up, looks really nice. I think as a black edition, you can get a fixed rear wing. Uh, you can delete it if you don't want it, but there is a fixed rear wing option, which is great. But no, I don't think it's lost any of its coupe looks. So the TT, if you get the S-Line spec, drops the suspension down, I think about 10 mil, just gives you a nice little ride height. Uh, it is a sporter suspension, um, but actually it rides really nicely, uh, and it's not too high. I mean, there is a bit of a gap, maybe it could do with some spaces and, and maybe, what, another 15, 20 mil drop, but uh, I think it looks really nice. All right, let's hop inside and see what's going on inside. Well, let's close that door. Oh, wow. So instantly, you're greeted with a fantastic standard Audi virtual cockpit. I think it looks brilliant. You've got really prominent dials, you've got a great display, really clear. Moving into the middle, as an option, this has got the deluxe climate control, but you can see, if I just turn that down, you can see the little displays come up on here. They look so nice, so integrated into these, what I think they call is a aeroplane design dashboard. I think it's supposed to be like a wing and these are supposed to be the jets of the aeroplane wing. I think it looks fantastic. Moving down we've got some nice little inconspicuous simple buttons along the middle, your hazards, ETC. Moving down, this is where you get all of your navigation for your MMI display. For example, if I press the menu in the middle, you can see it swaps to the menu and I can scroll through all my different settings and have a look through. Also, on this steering wheel, I can click the little buttons and it will also go in there as well. And you can click along and go through your phone, radio, car settings, how you like. So sitting in the Audi TT, these seats are fantastic. You can see they've got a really nice shape to them. They're now obviously fully integrated. I think the last one wasn't. I think the second gen, I think, had separate head bolsters, maybe. Mm, I can't remember, but these are really, really nice. As standard, I think you get this Alcantara with the leather on the sides, but leather is available and it does look really nice. You'll come in this kind of quilted uh, stitching, that'll be the leather. You have the S-Line embossed logo on the seat itself and you've got this really nice facelift model seat backing, whatever it may be. That looks like it's painted in Daytona grey, but I think if you go for, I think maybe black or blue, you can have it to match on the inside as well as the outside, so that looks really nice. So what's the build quality like? Um, because I've got a Mini, which is German, but actually a lot of it is a little bit plasticky and it's not that impressive if you're used to a well-built car. But do not fear, because in here you've got all the soft touch leather, which feels fantastic. You can see it's kind of perforated, that's the right word, on the steering wheel. Everything feels really sturdy. Nothing, there's no kind of noises. I mean, listen to this. You know, that's obviously got a bit of aluminium, but there's going to be plastics in here and things. There's no sound to that. Um, the seat. No, I mean, there's no noise to the seat. You know, I think everything is really, really nicely built and you can really tell it's a German brand, especially Audi as well. Right. I think it's time to start this car up and see what it's like on the road. Let's go. has got two litre uh, four-cylinder engine producing 245 
Uh, PS, brake horsepower, power, they're really roughly about the same. It's delivered through an S-Tronic uh, gearbox. I think it's a seven speed. Oh, seven speed and quattro. Oh, oh. Quattro is Audi's four wheel drive system or all wheel drive, I think they want to call it. And oh my God, it's fantastic. Honestly, you pick up speed so quickly in this car. Now, I can talk to you rather quietly because actually in the cabin, TTs have sometimes been a little bit loud, but in this car, it's very, very quiet. I can hear everything, you know, I can hear the radio, I can be on the phone and be absolutely fine. It's really, really nice. In Quattro, well, it's a really good question. Uh, you're probably gonna see uh, BMW's X-Drive, Mercedes, what are they, Formatic or something? Uh, the Quattro is something that I think is, has always kind of led the pack. It's since the rallying days. Everyone knows about Audi's Quattro uh, being kind of the Group B rally cars. I think it's Group B, I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, and they've just since then evolved that Quattro design to be an absolutely fantastic handling car. Um, all the S products and RS products do come as standard with Quattro uh, and a couple of the uh, the Q ranges do as well. This TT does not, uh, but this car has been spec'd up with the with the Quattro in it. And it's worth every penny. Sometimes Audi do special deals, they do uh, free Quattro upgrades. Um, so definitely watch out for those, it's well worth having if you can get in uh, and get a Quattro for reasonable money. Speaking of money, what's this car like to live with? Well, at the moment I'm doing about 28.1 miles per gallon, um, but I have been in sport, uh, kind of thrashing it around as it were, uh, just to see how the Quattro works. So actually, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be getting into the 30s. Um, fuel i filled up yesterday and it was around about 50 something 60 pounds which is not that bad uh, it's not got a massive tank but it's you know it's absolutely fine you probably get 300 350 miles out of the tank uh, which is all right uh, road tax unfortunately um nowadays if the car's over forty thousand pound there is a lot more tax to pay on a car and this is over forty thousand pound i think it's about 43 or 44 so um you are going to pay a little bit more for tax um but actually as a car, I think it's a really, really uh, affordable car to run as an everyday. Um, admittedly, you, you know, if you're going finance options for a PCP, it is quite expensive, but it is a 40 something grand car, so it's gonna be expensive. The question a lot of you have probably been asking, is it a hairdresser's car? Well, this is the third iteration, um, and no, I don't think it is. I never really thought it was. I thought it was a little bit bubbly, um, but I never thought it was a gender-specific car, as it were. I think it matches anyone, regardless of who you are. I think it looks brilliant on the outside now, especially this third iteration. I think it looks great. Uh, the inside is absolutely brilliant. They've really done nicely things inside. So no, it's not a hairdresser's car. It's a sports car for everyone. Is this a sports car? I think so, yes, absolutely. Now, I think that because this car has got the bigger two litre power output engine, I think it's got the S-Tronic gearbox and it's got Quattro, I think it's absolutely perfect for the road. I have a Mini, I have a John Cooper Works, and going round around about going around the corners that I have in this, this just trumps it all the way home. I mean, it's fantastic, honestly. It goes darts in, it keeps nice and level, there's not much roll in it. However, it's, it is quite playable. You'd quite think that a Quattro, an Audi Quattro system, isn't gonna be that fun, but actually it is. You can really stick it in, lift off, you get a bit of a slide. It is a really, really nice car to drive. Um, but back to the question, is it a sports car? Yes, yes it is. There's actually not a lot of the cars in this realm of, of save value that you can choose from. Uh, there's a Porsche Cayman, but actually that's probably a little bit up. And, and really, when you spec up uh, a TT compared to a Cayman, the Cayman is probably about £10,000 more than this car. Um, if you look a little bit lower, you've got maybe a Nissan 370Z, um, but it's not quite in the same class. You've got a Mazda MX-5, which, although it's a fantastic car, not quite at the same level. So actually, I think you're probably kind of sitting in this or or maybe a Mercedes or a Porsche. So actually, I think value for money is one of the best sports cars you can buy. So I said, is it a sports car? I can say it is, but why don't I show you? So there's a drive select button, it kind of sets the car up. I'm gonna put it in dynamic. I'm gonna put the gearbox into manual. I'm gonna go down a gear and I'm gonna show you why this car is a sports car. Oh, it just picks up power so quick. You can really feel the, 
car equal the power. The Quattro system is fantastic. You can really feel it distribute that power into the tight, into the tight left. Oh, God. Really throws you around in the car. It's fantastic. While I'm stuck behind a rather slow car in a 60 mile an hour lane, we'll ignore that. It's one of my pet hates anyway. Um, would I buy this car? No, I wouldn't buy this car. Partly because it's orange and it doesn't look very good. Although some of you probably would like it. It's not for me. Um, and it's not a black edition. I probably like black edition. It's just, it's perfect for most for every day. And I want an everyday driver, but I want something that's a little bit more special. And as I said, I think the TCS just would do that. I think it just gives you a little bit more noise. It's got those four exhausts. I think it's just got a little bit more power, uh, but it's got the same build quality, the same layout inside. I think that would be the one I would buy. Right, this is my normal parking test that I need to do with every car, just to make sure that it goes into a space. Mmm, does it very well, but I can see pretty fine. Sensors. There you go. I can see it right. Easy to park. So that concludes my review of the Audi TT. I think it's a fantastic car. It's one of the best coupes in its class. I actually think it's probably one of the best, if not the best coupes you can buy at the moment for really, really good money. Uh, if you like the video, make sure to like it. Tell me what you think about the colour. I'm not sure, but you know, maybe you guys like it more. Uh, subscribe to see future videos, but for now, I'll see you soon. I'm sorry.